This is a open house at Chrysler World Headquarters. This is an atrium in the headquarters, just kind of showing you some of the people around here at the open house. I hope you enjoy my video. There's a dyno here, they crash the power. Says how fast they're going in this crash. Thirty-one miles an hour. Thirty-one miles an hour. Do all that. Thirty-one point. Thirty-one point one miles an hour. Wow. And how fast is this one going? This is probably in the ballpark of thirty miles an hour. I imagine it's around thirty. Thirty. That's be thirty-one. 31-1, The crash test lab was pretty darn interesting. Most of these vehicles were slammed head-on into a wall at about 30 or 31 miles an hour. Yeah. just builds a little bit up in each pass. That's interesting. This is big. This is a lot of turbine car. 64, I think. Sixty-four, I think they built them. A Jeep FC. This is a clay model, it is not a real car. If you look, the windows are black, you can't see another through it. And you can see the raw clay in the front that hasn't been finished. This gives you an idea what they do to see what the car is going to look like before it's produced or prototyped or produced.
I like the dashboard on that car on the wall, it would push button shift and stuff too. It's pretty cool. Power plant for the world headquarters is right there. We walked a total of six miles in this uh, open house at the Chrysler World Headquarters. That's a lot of walking. What are you talking about? I can do it in this one, but it's like my So I just probably make short run production. Like small scale crap. Yeah, you know, it's not mass produced yet. Wouldn't you think? Probably. Hey there. How you doing? Good. Doing pretty good. Is the stuff that's produced here stuff that is not, not mass produced yet just for like uh, no, prototyping? No, no, stuff. Okay. Did they give you guys t-shirts if you I guess if you need any yeah, shielding gas or whatever. Wow. Laser cutter, yeah. Can you see in there? Yeah, you can a little bit. Pretty cool. In the very end, the dyno engines, if you look over here. Oh, Jeff okay. Used to run one of these. That's what an engine looks like on a dynamometer. An engine sitting on a dyno, can you find the engine? <laughs> it sure is covering a lot of sensors and stuff. I think that's a Durango Trans ACV. Two mode. This might be the new hybrid. It looks like the Durango. Here they got the. Where's Lisa at? Do I see Molly? Well, they, they put an engine. Here, let me get out of here. So these are all the wings of the dinos, and that last room with all the padding was where they listen to engine noises to try and quiet them down. This is what's called a Hellcat. We're in the wind tunnel now, are we? Was playing music just by being vibrated by that turns that into a speaker. That's amazing. Is that a GoPro? Yeah. Just do a pause if you want to read that. But that'll rotate, run four wheels, and it's a it's a um, 
turntable. Mm -hmm. This is moving. No, that's too. Gonna go into a freezing cold room. My camera will probably frost up when we leave here. Oh my god, look at that car has frost on it. Things are covered in frost in here. My camera is probably going to fog up. Now we're in heat. I'm from cold to heat. <laughs> Got to be 100 degrees in here. It was like below zero in there. Wow. There's a window you can see through too a little better out from the inside. Yeah. Wow, it's kind of like frosty. Yeah, it is. They didn't make it snow. It was minus 20. Everything is just frozen in there. They dropped that vehicle from that height right there, just let it slam to the ground. <laughs> yeah, it would. And those are the cars we're not supposed to video. Once you get in further, you'll see what they do here. I guess it simulated beating it down a road. I could simulate beating it down a road for him, put some tires on it and give me the keys to it. This is looking out the window at the Chrysler World Headquarters and I want to thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it.